So we'll come back to make CA and make CA was the original reason for well the original package we started installing if you remember uh, several hours ago. Um, so let's get rid of that one because we can't do that until we've got P11 kit. So we have to get rid of that for now. And libtazen that doesn't need anything. All right, I wonder why. Oh, I see, yeah, because make CA require, is required runtime, so that doesn't matter for building. But we need libtasm, which is the next package to install. So we've basically virtually come to the end of this um, dependency tree just for the one package make CA. And even then, it's not completely resolved, the dependencies, because we've uh, elected to omit or have elected to omit certain packages at this stage because it would entail going into Xorg and other areas which I'm deferring until we actually go on to that bit. I wanna, I've, I've actually never done this before, gone so deep at this point. I've normally just installed the basic pack, security packages that I've needed as much as I needed without going too deep into the dependencies. So this is something different that I'm doing a little bit here. So it'd be interesting to see how it pans out at the end of it. Um, normally the security bit might have taken maybe an hour, hour and a half at the most, just installing the basic bits, but I've gone a lot deeper than I have, ever have done as regards dependencies, so it, yeah, it will be quite interesting. So anyway, uh, Libtazen, we've now got GTK doc or some semblance of it installed, not installing Valgrind, um, so we can go ahead and install Libtazen now. So let's find that one. There it is, one dot or Liptasm one four dot one six dot O. And let's fetch the package. And we'll extract it now. Let's clear this old one up first. Oh, interesting. I did a direct download there and that hasn't worked again, so I'm a bit unsure why uh, they're not downloading correctly. It could be the file's not there or I, I really don't know. So I'm going to stop downloading for that and just carry on using the HTTPS. But in theory, after we've built um, make CA um, assuming there's no other dependencies we should build wget next because then that would or in fact wget might just automatically start working anyway once the certificates are in place um, I, I believe yes I'm not sure about links though but wget will certainly work uh, we'll see when we come to it anyway we'll just get this make CA done for today's session uh, that'll be more than enough uh, right, okay, so let's try extracting this again. Yes, it's worked okay now. And I'll copy these in, as there's quite a few of them. So make configure, let's just check to see if there's any other options. Okay, enable GTK docs. I think there's going to appear in quite a few packages. We can add this. This is my intention. Again, it's something I've not done for a long time. I used to do it and realised I wasn't using the documentation because uh, it's more developer stuff. Um, but I'm doing it this time purely for uh, part of the demonstration. So let's add that switch. Run the configure. I'm hoping the documentation will work. If things there's still some, um, let's just run the make. Things there's some dependencies, although there should be the, just the optional ones. Um, well, then luck it should work. So it's built okay anyway. So let's run the tests. That looks okay. Thirty total and passes total 30 so that's good so let's become the root and do make install 
and it says if it did not pass the enable GTK parameters to configure the script you can install the API documentation using the following commands so we did pass it All right, okay. This parameter is normally used if GTK Talk is installed and you wish to rebuild and install the API documentation. It's broken for this package due to the use of a long deprecated GTK doc program that is no longer available. Uh, that's interesting. So it looks like I need to run this anyway to install the documentation. So let's do that. Um, Okay, not sure we can see those files in HTML. No, I can't see anything being done there. So that's that package done anyway. I cleared it up. And now we can install 